Hi children, today we will do exercise 4.5 question number 1 and 2. Now look at the first question. Draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral PQRS. Draw its diagonal. Name them. Is the meeting point of the diagonal in the interior or the exterior of the quadrilateral? So what is given the what, what is there in the question? We have to draw a we have to draw a quadrilateral, is it? Quadrilateral means what? It's a four-sided polygon. So draw a quadrilateral. Four sides are there. So and name it as PQRS. P Q R S. So we draw a quadrilateral P Q R S. And what is the next statement given down the question? Draw its diagonals. Diagonal means what? It's a line segment joining two non-adjacent vertices, is it? So you can say that this vertex and this vertex are non-adjacent. So if you are joining this by using a line segment, you will get one diagonal. And like the same way, if you are joining the P and R, you will get another diagonal. So which are the diagonals here? P, S and Q, R are the diagonals here, is it? Are the diagonals. P, S and Q, R are the diagonals. P, S and Q, R, sorry. P, R and, okay, sorry, P, R and Q, S. P, R and Q, S are the diagonals. Okay, which are the diagonals here? P, R is one diagonal and Q, S is one diagonal. P, R and Q, S are the diagonals. Now, what is our question? Is the meeting point of the diagonals? These two diagonals are meeting at this point. These two diagonals are meeting at this point. Is the point in its interior or exterior? Is the meeting point of the two diagonals is in the interior or in the exterior? It's very clearly we can see that they are meeting in the inside of the quadrilateral. So what you can say? The meeting point of the diagonals is in the interior of the quadrilateral. Okay. So diagonals, diagonals, P, R and Q, S and Q, S meet in the interior of the quadrilateral. What is the answer? Diagonals P, R and Q, S meet in the interior of the quadrilateral. I hope it's clear. What is the answer of this question? Diagonals P, R. We have to draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral P, Q, R, S. After that you have to draw the diagonals of the quadrilateral. Diagonal means it's a line segment joining two non-adjacent vertices. After joining the diagonals, after drawing the diagonals, you have to name them. Name them means P, R and Q, S are the diagonals. Is it? And just give the meeting point as O. Okay. Now, is the meeting point of the diagonals in the interior or in the exterior? You can clearly see that the diagonals P, R and Q, S meet in the interior of the quadrilateral. I hope the first chance is clear. Now move to the second question. Draw a rough sketch of a triangle. We already draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral KLMN and state two pairs of opposite sides. Just try to recall it. Opposite sides means what? Two sides of a quadrilateral which do not have any common vertex. If there is no common vertex, we can say that they are opposite Sides, is it? Now look at here. Kn, which are the sides? Just take the sides. Kn and we already learned line segments are representing the line segments are representing sides, is it? So a question we have to find two pairs of opposite sides. Kn and Lm. Take the side Kn and Lm. Are they having any common vertex? No. So we can say that. They are opposite sides. Okay. Now like the same way you can write N, M and K, L. N, M and K, L. Listen children, opposite sides means they do not have any common vertex. So we can say K, N. This is K, N. K, N and L, M. They don't have any common vertex. So we can say they are opposite sides. Like the same way. Like the same way you can write KL and NM. KL and NM, they don't have any common vertex. So we can say they are 
opposite sides. So, we got two pairs of opposite sides. Now, what is the next one? Opposite angles. Opposite angles means what? Just try to recall it. Two angles of a quadrilateral which have no common side as an arm. So, no common side as an arm. So, how will we write? Opposite angles. Opposite angles means no common arm. So, we can say this angle, this angle and this angle. Are they having any common arm? No. So, we can write angle Angle N and angle L are opposite angles. I hope it is clear. Angle N and angle L have no common arm. So, we can say that they are opposite angles. Okay. Like the same way. Which are the next opposite angles? Look at this angle. This angle and this angle. Are they having any common arm? No. So, what you can write? Angle K and angle M are opposite angles. I hope it is clear. Opposite sides and opposite angles. Opposite sides means what? They do not have any common vertex. Opposite angle means what? There is no common arm. Okay? For the two angles. No common arm for the two angles. Now, what is question number C? We have to write adjacent sides. Adjacent sides means what? They should be a common vertex, common point. We can write KN. Listen children. K, K, N and N, M are adjacent sides because they have a common point. So, what you can write? K, N and N, M are adjacent sides. What is the reason? They have a common point, N. Like the same way you can write K, L and L, M are adjacent sides, is it? We need only two pairs. So, K, L and L, M are Adjacent sides. I hope it's clear. Adjacent sides means they have a common point. Okay, two sides having a common point, we can say that two sides are adjacent sides. Now, what is the D question? Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles means what? Two angles of a quadrilateral which have a common side as an M. Common side as an M. So, look at this, children. Look at here, this angle and this angle is having a common arm. Okay, common arm. So, we can say this angle, this is a common arm for these two angles, is it? So, we can say angle M and angle N are adjacent angles, okay? Angle M and angle N. Angle M and angle N are adjacent angles. Like the same way you can write... Like the same way, we need two pairs. So, one more pair we need. These two, listen, this angle and this angle is having this as a common arm. So, what you can write? What you can write? Angle K and angle L are adjacent angles. Adjacent angle means common arm is there. Opposite angle means no common arm. Opposite sides means no common vertex. Adjacent sides means it is a common endpoint or common vertex. Okay. I hope all the points are clear. Just go through the definitions. Two sides of a quadrilateral which do not have any common vertex. If there is no common vertex, we can say that two sides are opposite sides. If there is a common side as an arm, we can say that they are adjacent angles. And if there is no common side as an arm, we can say they are opposite angles. I hope it is clear. We need only two pairs. That is why we are writing only two pairs. There are more than two pairs of adjacent sides, adjacent angles is there. Just write everything completely. Okay. Now, opposite sides, opposite angles, adjacent sides, adjacent angles are clear children. That is all for today. Thank you.